Hey there fellow mountain bikers and welcome back to Bikes Online. Today we're going to be going over something that will truly elevate your riding experience and that is suspension tuning. We're going to assume that you already have your sag dialed in but today's lesson is going to be about compression and rebound damping. If you get that right it'll take you from having an ordinary ride to an extraordinary ride. In today's video, we'll walk you through all of the nuances of suspension tuning using three different 2023 Polygon models as our examples. So let's get your shocks dialed in. Before we get rolling, let's cover some quick definitions. Compression is how resistant a bike's suspension is to being pushed into its travel. More compression damping, aka clockwise on your adjuster, means it's less likely to want to squish and vice versa. Rebound, on the other hand, is how quickly a bike's suspension rises or recovers from being squished into its travel. More rebound, aka clockwise on your adjuster, means that the bike will recover more slowly. Now with that out the way, we will kick things off with the 2023 Polygon D7 SE. This bike is equipped with an SR Suntour Radon fork and a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus rear shock. Start by adjusting your suspension's compression damping. On the D7 SE, you'll have a blue sweep adjuster on both the fork and shock. This will help you find that sweet spot between stiff and responsive, or soft and stable. For the fork, we recommend starting with this fully open, aka all the way counterclockwise, unless the bike is diving. A diving fork will feel like the bike wants to collapse forward and send you over the bars. In this case, add one click at a time until the diving is remedied. For the shock you have two settings, open is best for descending and locked is best for climbing. If you're the type to set it and forget it, just leave it in the open position. Moving on to rebound coated by red knobs, let's focus on the fork's rebound damping first. A quicker rebound suits aggressive trails where the bike needs to recover quickly to address the next disturbance, while a slower rebound is favored on smoother paths where disturbances are more spaced out. We highly advise starting somewhere in the middle and working it from there. Turn it clockwise to close the rebound damper and slow things down if you feel like the bike is too bouncy or rough. Turn it counterclockwise to open the rebound damper if you feel like the bike needs to bounce back faster and stop packing out. You'll know your bike is packing out when the suspension feels rough from staying too deep in its travel through rock gardens and other technical terrain. Once the fork is dialed, repeat this process for the rear shock and you'll be ready to rip. Now let's explore the 2023 Polygon Siskiyou T8. Sporting a Fox 34 rhythm fork and a Fox float DPS rear shock, this bike offers superb trail performance. The Fox 34 rhythm fork allows you to fine tune the low speed compression via a blue sweep adjuster just like the D7 SE's Radon. As for the rear shock, the Fox float DPS offers the ability to adjust both the open and firm modes, ensuring maximum versatility on the trail. Just like the last bike, we would advise T8 riders start wide open both front and rear, only adding compression when the bike seems to dive and lack support. When dealing with rebound, remember that the Fox 34 provides a wide range of adjustment, enabling you to customize the rebound to match your preference and riding style. Similarly, the Fox Float DPS rear shock rebound can be fine tuned. Start these knobs on both the fork and shock in the middle of their range, working them one click at a time in either direction, depending on your trail conditions. Is your bike squatting and bottoming out on repeating rocks and drops? Open the rebound by turning it to the left. Is your bike bouncing around like a trampoline as you hit obstacles? Maybe you should close that rebound knob up by turning it to the right. Last but not least, let's talk about the 2023 Polygon Colossus N9 featuring a Fox 38 Performance Fork and a Fox Float X2 Performance Elite Rear Shock. With the Fox 38 Fork, you'll have the power to adjust low speed compression via a blue sweep adjuster just like the last two bikes. The X2 Performance Elite, unlike the previous shocks, has high and low speed compression adjustment. So when tuning this bike's suspension, apply the exact same wide open or full counterclockwise recommendation we gave you for the other two bikes, but pay close attention when adjusting the rear since it has two knobs for tuning compression. High speed compression adjustment controls shock performance during bigger hits, landings, and square edged bumps, where low speed compression adjustment controls shock performance during rider weight shifts and other slow inputs. This is some advanced level stuff, so take your time and refer to Fox setup guides if you need more help. 
The Fox suspension of the Colossus N9 closely mimics the Siskiyou T8 in terms of rebound, except for, you guessed it, the rear shock since it has both high and low speed rebound. For all three red knobs on this bike, start in the middle, paying extra attention before making adjustments in the rear. Low speed rebound impacts traction in technical climbs, high speed shatter, off camber corners, and braking bumps, where high speed rebound impacts how the bike recovers from big hits, as well as how it acts on jump takeoffs. So take that into account when trying to slow or speed the bike's rebound characteristics, and remember, one click at a time. Experiment, and eventually you'll find that perfect tune that balances plush stability and agile playfulness. Oh, and we almost forgot. The X2 on the back of the Colossus N9 also features a climb switch for on-the-fly compression adjustments aside from the two knobs. So just one more thing to pay attention to. And there you have it, folks. Tuning your mountain bike suspension is like unlocking an entirely new level of riding satisfaction. And remember that each bike and each rider are different. So take your time to fine tune everything according to your riding style and your terrain. And if you thought this content was useful, make sure to smash that like button for me. And any questions or comments you have, drop those down below. As always, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you can see even more amazing content just like this. Until next time, ride safe and I'll see you around.